Today we're going to learn scientific notation to standard form. The distance of the Earth to the Sun is 9 and 3 tenths times 10 to the 7th miles written in scientific notation. Now, let's change that back into standard form. First, I'm going to write my number, and then I'm going to look at times 10 to the seventh power. Now that's a positive seven, and positive numbers are on the right side of my number line. So I'm going to move this decimal towards the right seven jumps, seven places, because um, times 10 to the seventh would be um, seven place value uh, spots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My new decimal, I'm going to put it right here, and I'm just going to fill in all these blank spots with zeros. And I'll go back and add my commas every third zero. And we have 93 million. Here we have 2 times 10 to the negative 9. Our steps. First, look at your exponent. This is a 9. It's a negative 9. If the exponent is positive, move the decimal to the, well, positive numbers on a number line are on the right side of the number line. So if, you're, if your um, exponent is positive, you're going to move your decimal to the right. If the exponent is negative, move the decimal to the, well, with a negative exponent, negative numbers are on the left side of the number line. So we will move our exponent, our decimal, excuse me, to the left. Move the decimal, the exponent number, which would be 9 in this case, of places in the correct direction. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to rewrite my number, which is 2. Now remember, behind a whole number, there's always a decimal. So I'm going to move in a negative direction, which would be to the left, and I'm going to move 9 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to fill in all of these, I'm going to put my decimal here first, and then I'm going to fill in all of these blank uh, place value spots with a zero. Now let's try these together. 4 and 75 hundredths times 10 to the negative 6. I'm going to write my number down. And it says times 10 to the negative 6, which tells me I'm going to be moving my decimal to the left. I don't think I left myself enough space here. Places to the left because left is least. It's a negative exponent. I move to the left towards negative numbers. I put my decimal here and I just fill in the place value spots with a zero. Next example 3 and 92 hundredths times 10 to the seventh power. I'm going to write my decimal number down. And this time I have a positive exponent, so I'm going to move in a positive direction, which would be to the right. Seven places because I have a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put my decimal there and fill in the place value spots with zeros. Put commas in 
where they are needed, and I have uh, 39,200,000. The next number, number three, eight and six tenths times 10 to the fourth power. I have um, a four here, and it's positive, so I'm gonna move to the right, and I'm gonna move just four spots, one, two, three, four, and fill in the place value spots, put a comma. And then for the last one, number four, I have five and 39 hundredths times 10 to the negative third. So that's a negative three. I'm gonna move in a negative direction, which is to the left, and I'm gonna move three places in a negative direction. So one, two, three, put my decimal here, fill in these spots with zeros, and this is my new number. Okay, you may want to get rid of the uh, waves at the end when you're done so that we can actually see what your number is. You wouldn't leave it in that form um, with your little jumps there. This is your pause it section. I want you to pause the video and I want you to answer number one, two, and three. Number one, three and six tenths times 10 to the negative ninth. Number two, seven and 45 hundredths times 10 to the fifth. And number three, how do you determine which direction to move the decimal? Go ahead and pause. Okay, three and six tenths times 10 to the negative ninth. I'm going to rewrite that as 3.6, and I think I might have to move that over a little more. Let's put it down here, 3.6 um, times 10 to the negative 9. I'm going to move 9 places to the left, because that's a negative number, and negative numbers are to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to put my decimal here. Fill in my place value spots and move to the next one. 7.45 times 10 to the fifth power. I'm going to move my decimal five places in a positive direction. One, two, three, four, five. And I will put my decimal, I mean my, excuse me, my comma here. Last question, how do you determine which direction to move the decimal? If you have a negative exponent, you move your decimal to the left. If you have a positive exponent, you move your decimal to the right. 